today. Welcome to Home Biz Tax Talk. My name is Lysandra Everett. I am the Home Biz Tax Lady where I help home business owners win the tax game. Home Biz Tax Talk airs Monday through Friday, nine o'clock-ish. And when you tune into my show, you're going to hear about topics that are important to the home business community. And today is for my ride sharing squad, okay? My Uber drivers, my Lyft drivers, there are some other ride sharing services that I just don't know about. (laughs) I'm fairly new to that. I know Uber and Lyft, all right? But regardless of the service, if ride sharing squad, this is for you. So I've been getting a a question a lot lately about meals being tax deductible for, uh, for my ride sharing drivers. Like, you know, are meals tax deductible? And the answer is no. (laughs) All right. So where does this come from though? So I want to give you the perspective so you understand where this is coming from. So if you encounter this, as a ride sharing driver, you know, talking to other drivers are saying, okay, I'm deducting meals and all this stuff. The fact is that your meals are not tax deductible. And this comes from like over the road drivers. Over the road drivers are governed by DOT regulations. And so based on that, you know, they have limits on the time that they can drive. They have, you know, all kinds of, you know, regulations that they have to work within. And part of their benefit is they get to deduct uh, a certain percentage of their meals, okay, because they're always on the road. Um, and so that's where this, this comes from. But this does not apply to ride sharing drivers because you are not uh, governed by DOT regulations, okay? So now if you are, you know, if you make your money, like this is how you live your life through (laughs) through Uber and Lyft. But even if you don't, even if you do it part-time, if you purchase like water and snacks for your passengers, that is tax deductible, but the meals that you consume are not, all right? So that's something that you really have to take into consideration, like, you know, because because I I get it. It is um, an expense because if you're really out there getting your hustle on, you're really not spending a lot of time at home. You are, you know, out on the road all the time, which means that you if unless you pack your food, you know, you're eating out a lot. But again, that doesn't make it a tax deductible expense. So, no, it's. So it ain't. <laughs> There's no other way to make that clear enough. Okay. So, um, so the things that you have to do is really just plan to, uh, to eat as economically as possible. And, you know, and like I said, if you provide, you know, those kinds of snacks and things for your passengers, then that is a tax deductible expense. I know, um, ride sharing drivers that provide, you know, water, towels, you know, they might have some crackers or something to give to their passengers just to increase the service experience. And so with that, it's a tax deductible thing. But if you buy those same crackers for you to consume, that is not a tax deductible expense. Okay. So this one is really short, sweet, and to the point today. Um, but I will, I will put the link to, I have a a tax guide for my Uber and Lyft squad for my ride sharing squad that you can get access to. And I'll add that, uh, I'll add that link after this broadcast is over, but Yeah, that's it for today, guys. So it's short and sweet for today. And I really hope this helps you out. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Home Biz Tax Talk. Again, we air Monday through Friday, 9 o'clock-ish. And you can come here to get your questions answered about your home business taxes. All right, have a great day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.